what's up everybody welcome back with another video all right so what's today today's wednesday today's wednesday um so i was sitting here and i was like oh i haven't seen any birds i wasn't really paying attention and then i was like oh if i'm if the video is ready to start you know i always think in my head if the video is ready to start let me see some birds and like these i literally like four birds flew right Boom, 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 like right next to me and I just see them right now like ah, like little kids playing in a park <laughs> they're so cute um anyways okay so we're gonna we're gonna get right into it so we're gonna see what ooh, ooh, everybody wants to talk today um I'm still getting over a little bit of a sore throat everybody got sick all of a sudden supposedly this is what I read but um I don't really pay attention to the news like that it gives me anxiety. Well, it doesn't really give me anxiety. I'm just like ugh, so over it. It's been so such a long three years. Basically, seems like a lifetime. But yeah, so all these cards fell over. It's so annoying. Only on camera, right? Only on camera. So I'm getting like somebody. Maybe somebody's eating some fruit or something. I don't know. Maybe like an orange colored fruit. Not, it's like cantaloupe. Is cantaloupe orange? No. What does, um, is it cantaloupe? Something that somebody, what, what is she like? Papaya, papaya, papaya. Papaya. Okay, so we got, we got a card. It is divinely guided and protected. I've never stopped living you at the bottom of the deck. So let's see some more channeled messages from your person. Wrong choice. Mm, okay. So we got wrong choice. We got karmic feminine. Wait, I forgot. It's on the cinematics. Oops, wrong way. Wrong choice. And karmic feminine. And stuck. Beautiful soul connection. And then you also got divinely guided and protected. So what I'm getting out of this, they also, this is also here, is they poke fun at you or they make fun of you, make you look like you were somebody that you weren't. Lies. So um, no, more, no more games, negative energy. So maybe no more negative energy. Maybe, um, maybe you guys are seeing some angel numbers. Maybe in the past someone was being kind of shady. And I feel like maybe somebody was pretending that, um, like, they knew you. Haters, when I split the deck. Like, they knew you, and they were basically saying, like, that you were somebody, yeah, somebody that you weren't. Um, it could have been a Pisces, a Capricorn, or a Scorpio, um, or a Libra, I'm getting. Um, so, uh... What was I going to say? I was going to say something right now. Oh, um, yeah, it could have been um, L.A. is sticking out to me a lot. Like maybe like the nightlife, like L.A., Los Angeles. Maybe you like to go to L.A. Um, I feel like somebody's in their emotions right now. I feel like maybe in the past. Oh, so it was wrong choice. So like and it said karmic feminine. So I'm thinking what I'm getting out of that, obviously, would be that. um Maybe somebody had a, a choice between you and somebody else. And they obviously maybe picked somebody that was karmic, meaning in a lower vibration, or they didn't realize that this person was in a lower vibration. But also, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a wrong choice. Like, maybe at the time, it was the right choice, right? Maybe at the time, that's what was the what looked like the best choice. But, you know... Times change things, you know, time really changes people. And like, I think that you have to grow um, from every situation that you're, you know, that you're in, regardless if you've been in a relationship and things end and it's been 10 years, it's been five years. I don't know. <clears throat> no matter the time, it doesn't really matter. It's like the emotion and the what you put into it, what you put into the relationship. If you have children, you know, no, nobody can take that time. Nobody can take that love or those memories away. All you can do is move forward. If things don't work out, all you could do is release and hope to hope that things happen 
um, in the way that they're supposed to and don't stress or worry too much about the outcome. But like know that if you're putting out a good vibration, if you're putting out a high vibration, you know, it's that you're going to get somebody that's going to be, you know, you're going to get somebody that's in the same vibration as you. So at the time of choosing somebody and now you say it's a wrong choice, let's just say, oh, maybe you don't connect with that person anymore. And maybe things kind of have um, worn off in a sense or um, maybe feelings don't aren't the same because, you know, a relationship changes. Feelings can change. We're allowed to change our minds. We're allowed to change our path. But. You know, if we um, continue to stay in a situation because it's what society has tells us to do and you're truly unhappy or somebody and it's not even like because, you know, I contemplate on this as like, you know, yeah, things get boring sometimes, but you don't just give up on somebody. But it's like when you truly feel like you connect with somebody, you know, you know, I feel like you truly know if somebody is good for you or if somebody triggers you or if you need to work on yourself. And also, uh, we, they don't give you, like, the universe won't present you somebody lower vibration, like, at a lower vibration than you. They won't get, like, you know, it, it has to be, you attract the, what you put out. So what you put out, you get back. So if you're attracting somebody, if you're putting good energy out there, you're going to attract somebody with good energy, you know? If you're putting negative energy out there, you're going to attract somebody that's negative or in your vibration. Sometimes when you're in a relationship, I'm just going on a spiel, but sometimes when you're in a relationship, you can be with that person and one person will elevate and they'll change their frequency. So at the time of getting together, they were at the same frequency. They like the same things. One a partner can grow more or faster or if one person like you both have to be constantly doing the work if you know a relationship anything in life you as a human being growing and maturing should learn new things every single day because we don't stop learning our brains are for learning you know um are for knowledge to continuously you know try to gain perspectives different perspectives on things that's how we mature that's how we grow that's how we teach other people that's how we continue the cycle of like spreading positivity and spreading love and joy so when you um elevate and the other partner doesn't elevate that means that you guys change frequencies and you guys don't click anymore so that's why there can be more all the birds are flying this way there can be more, uh, like, if there's a disconnect. I swear, the, all the birds are surrounding me. It's so funny underneath my car. <laughs> They're like t- tiny birds. I see them all flying to me. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to start doing this real quick, okay? We're going to get a Kipper deck. Hmm. Maybe some of you guys are at the grocery store. Okay, so we got Judication, High Honor, A Mature Woman. So, what I'm getting with this, um, okay, so I feel like you guys, um, have gone through, um, you guys have gone through, let me move this, I feel like you guys have gone through a lot, like, I was talking about maturity, let me take a sip of water, because I'm always rambling, I feel like you guys have definitely grown a lot um you guys have balanced yourselves yourselves out i feel like in a matter of like five years a lot has changed um i feel like you guys have grown whether it be in your career and your life um matured as a person i feel like you guys have really um stepped it up maybe you guys are more of like a an official position because um yeah And I'm getting, like, the number five a lot. So, like, maybe five years ago. So, like, maybe five years ago a lot has changed and you've really matured. Um, You know, let's see. I feel like you're, um, I feel like right now you guys are really good with your money. Or you're trying to, maybe you guys are, I feel like I just, I hear, like, lottery. Like, you know, there's going to be, like, you're going to win the lot. Not, like, lottery, but, like, you're going to basically win the lottery. When Look, I'm telling you, you're going to, somebody about to win the lottery or, like, lottery in a sense of life like you're gonna be living the life you know I don't know I feel like there's gonna be a huge growth or maybe in five years if you continue to like if you continuously look a wealthy man in a pathway if you continue to do the work maybe you're gonna meet somebody 
mm, down the way, down the way. Look at these family room. There's oh, you never know. That's what it seems like. Um, cause that's what I'm getting. High honor. I'm getting maybe in the in a matter of time. Maybe you guys are looking for somebody. That um, you know. Let's see. Let's. I got my romance angel deck right here. We got ten minutes. So let's see. Let me do it over here. I don't know if you guys like this microphone. I feel like it makes me. <laughs> I feel like it makes me. Um... What was I saying? I got confused. I mean, I got I got distracted because I got a message. I'm so sorry, guys. I feel like um, the love romance angel deck. It really I need to get a new deck. Honestly, I don't even remember what I was saying. I'm pretty hungry, guys. I know another one fell, but oh, do I want to get it? Let me see if I could. Oh, I no. Oh, well. Let's see if I could get it. Honestly, sometimes I feel like it's not even meant to be. Oh, I did find it. I did get it. I got it. Reconciliation. Maybe it's meant to be that I picked it up. Um. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Let me move that. Okay. So someone from your past is, is returning to your life. So maybe. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of, like, the wrong choice, I don't know if this is, like, lopsided or not. Sorry if it is. Uh, maybe this person in, maybe this person in the past engagement, maybe they felt like you weren't the right choice in the past. Maybe you guys, um, or maybe this is coming up soon, like, or, yeah, my reconciliation. I was going to say, maybe you're going to be meeting somebody. Maybe some of you guys will be meeting somebody new, or it could be somebody from your past or somebody that you already know, or maybe it doesn't have to necessarily mean an ex, but maybe it's just already somebody that you know. You know, a lot of times, a lot of people will run into people and be like, hey, and then they start dating and you never even realized, like, or you never even knew, like, you know, if you know them from a long time ago, they're like, what, those two? Really? Wow. People change, you know? Anyways, let's see, Spirit. Let's get some romance. Angel deck for... Let's see. What's going on, Spirit? What's what's going on? <sighs> I feel like it's going to be... Um, it's just going to happen when when um you meet or if... like this When this happens, it's going to be in divine timing because it's going to happen... Super quip, 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 <laughs> quick, and it's gonna have, it's gonna happen super quick, not with the P, super quick, and it's gonna be like natural. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So yeah, some of you guys definitely are gonna be reconciling with somebody from your past. Maybe there's something that you did not know. Uh, maybe you thought you knew something. Um, so you got these two cards. I know my cards are so old. I need to get new ones. Playfulness at the bottom of the deck. Sorry if I'm a little shaky. Ugh, I'm with my left hand. I'm sorry, guys. Let me do it with my right. So it says playfulness. And it says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So definitely, I feel like you guys, if it's somebody from your past, maybe you, maybe this person doesn't want you to be guarded. Um, maybe they feel like you're going to be guarded and they really want to come in and offer you something um, stable. Maybe they've learned a lot. Four of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Oh my God, this is a very slow moving offer. This could have been a long time coming, 333 when I looked up. So this is definitely somebody that you have known for a really long time. Whether or not you know them for a really long time, it could be somebody from past lives. Maybe you guys, I don't know if you guys believe in that, but it's like you guys, look, working hard at this four of wands. I feel like you guys are definitely going to be working hard. Wow, this, these birds are insane looking. Like they really, I don't know, I really connect with birds a lot. Oh, they're flying this way. They're so cute. They're like little baby birds. Oh, they're so cute. So it's like two birds, like in trees. I don't know. It, it just, birds are so relaxing to me. I wish I could show you guys what they look like. They're just fine. I wish they could come in here and like a little Tweety bird come on my hand or something. All right, so let's see. Let's see what's going on. We'll just pull a couple of cards. We're already at 14 minutes. But yeah, I feel like if this is a reconciliation, yeah, I think you're going to need to let your guard down. I feel like don't be so defensive. Just be playful. Just like have fun. Um, if you're single, like be single, don't worry about anything else. Like just, you know, like just let it, let it happen naturally. Three of wands and the two of pentacles. 
So definitely is uh, the high priest. I mean, the two of pentacles. I said the two of pentacles. The three of wands and the high priestess. Did I say the two of pentacles? I can't even remember now. Anyway, so maybe this person in the past, maybe this person is still juggling the idea of this. But um, <clears throat> three of wands talks about um, waiting for your ships to sail in. So maybe you guys have planned, like you guys have already like done the work. You guys are really just waiting for, um, you're just waiting. You're waiting for somebody to come or like, you know, it's like when you've, you've planted seeds, it's like you're waiting for them to grow. You're waiting for your ships to come in. The high priestess is, um, you know, all knowing, you know, that the work that you've done, you know, that things are going to happen for you. It's like, it's like when you work and you're waiting for your check, you already know that it's coming. It's just, you just got to wait till the day it comes, you know, it's kind of like that. It's like, you know, you did the work. And so look, this, um, I, 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 this is a page of swords, which talks about maybe people are watching you. Maybe people are really looking at you. My eye, um, drew to the book. So maybe you guys are learning something new. Maybe you guys are trying to learn something new or trying to, um, research something. Uh, maybe you guys are trying to research the occult. Maybe you, you guys are trying to research like um, like divination, you know, um, tarot, stuff like that. Ooh. Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys are having some sort of passionate new beginning. Um, maybe you guys draw something to do with art, something to do with, um, you know, photos or something like that. Yeah, you guys are wanting some passion in the beginning. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be getting some sort of message. Um, it's going to be a friendly message. Um, ooh. Yeah, I feel like somebody is... Let me see. What's going to happen in divine timing? I feel like there's going to be a leveling of the scales. Knight of Pentacles, someone's going to be giving, coming in and giving you um, an offer. Or it's been a slow-moving offer. Like, let me see. Uh, let me see if I could get it. Did I get it? Oh, yeah. The lovers, yeah, they're going to be coming in and giving you some sort of, maybe there's going to be a choice. Maybe you guys really liked, you guys used to like to get a lot of snacks and, like, watch movies and stuff like that. I don't know why, because uh, I looked up and it says 7-Eleven, and I just always think about, like, chips and, like, ice cream and Slurpees or whatever. Maybe you guys are really trying to rebirth the situation. You could be dealing with a Gemini um, or a Libra. I feel like somebody wants them to come in with some sort of communication. I feel like they want to end um, not talking to you or end. I feel like they're starting to defend you now. And I feel like they want to come in and give you some sort of apology. Um, I feel like maybe from the past, maybe somebody made you look. Maybe maybe this person is having some. I feel like, yeah, they're having some sort of anxiety or like some sleepless nights. I feel like they it had to it has to do with something. Maybe they want to really come in and give you. They want to take care of you. I feel like they really want to. Um. Yeah, I feel like they really want to take care of you. The Six of Pentacles. They really want to give you equal give and take. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm also getting Pisces. The Nine of Cups. See, I was thinking about the Hanged Man and it came out. The Hanged Man. I feel like this person is getting some sort of spiritual enlightenment. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer. You could like cats. Um, or you could like to read a lot. Yeah, definitely. Um, this person is coming in fast. I feel like this is going to be happening pretty, pretty quickly. I was just saying King of Wands too. This could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, a fire sign, or a Taurus. I feel like this person is going to really want marriage with you. This person, yeah, I feel like that maybe this is somebody from the past. They're, they're being very nostalgic at the moment. And I feel like they're they're kind of dwelling on the how they treated you in the past. And I feel like they're really trying to get over that themselves like I feel like they know that you've forgiven them but they need to understand like why they did it or why they treated you that way or maybe they just hope that you forgive them or maybe this person really doesn't know I feel like they're working on trying to gain some sort of spirit like enlightenment on this situation 
Um, I guess we can do oh strength. The see, I was trying to say. Well, let's see what uh, last card. What the last card would be, and two cards came out. So the eight of pentacles and the strength. So eighty-eight could be a number. Maybe you were born in eighty-eight. Um, so the eight of pentacles talks about um, you know, uh, working. Um, continuously working on something could be that you know maybe you're working at the moment <laughs> but the and strength is to stay strong be courageous so maybe you're gonna continuously try to work on the situation you don't want to give up I feel like you there's like a persistence like you're being persistent and you're really trying to work hard to gain get the you know get to the end goal of what you want and like you know I always say I, I always get what I want that's what I'm hearing in my head I always get what I want I love myself. Always remember to love yourself, you guys. Um, and yeah, so I think that's it for you guys. I wish I could tell you how I truly feel. Maybe this person is hiding their feelings from you. Maybe this person is holding back from you for now. Um, maybe they're still trying to get a feel for if you will take them back or if you will like want to talk to them. So maybe they're just trying to like see um, you know what the vibe is like right now. Maybe it's been a while since you guys last like hung out or talked. So maybe they're just you know, taking it slow with you. But um, this offer will eventually come in. So, all right. Um, hope it resonates. Let me know if it does. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.